Check out, check out, check out, back, 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 back. Ow! Club time. How are you doing, everybody in the chat? Thanks for swinging by the lunchroom. Doing a late night Wednesday break here of a little bit of Stadium Club. Downtown Gary Brown. Easy Polizzi, the J Unit, Dustin, Anthony Varga, Spencer Mayfield. How you doing, Spencer? Did I see the Cecil? Yes, I was over on the Beard Brothers channel. They are pulling some hot fire on that triple threads tonight. 101 Cecil Fielder. Hello, Detroit Rock City. Great looking card. Then I saw the uh, triple auto of the uh, the Rockies there. I know Dustin's heart probably went. Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. I'm doing good, Spencer. Thanks for uh, stopping by the channel. I appreciate it. I think uh, 
think your uh, your your great your good old dad picked up a couple uh, spots in the break tonight. So gonna root for uh, some hits for him. We got his angles in the nationals. Show me the tattoo, says J. Wait, got Gary Brown. I thought it was J. Unit. I gotta get my eyes aren't focusing right. No reason to talk about triple threads. We break in Stadium Club. Hey, Kelly, Mike. Oh, we got all the uh, West Coast representation out there. Yeah, I've been watching uh, a couple triple threads breaks throughout the day here and there. That stuff is hot fire. I do have some on my website. In case you uh, did not notice, we'll bring it. We're gonna bring it right on over to the website. I got new couple new uh, new breaks I put up today. I got a uh, four boxer. Of Chronicles, just in. I'm going to be putting these on eBay, too, but I got a PYT of Chronicles, so just put that up there. Got two boxes of triple threads. Just came in. Um, $20 a team, two boxes. It's very likely you may not get any cards. I should probably should put that in the description. There isn't very many cards in there, but there are hits, so 20 bucks you could get a nice... Big fat card. Uh, I got still have the immaculate panini mixer up there. I also today I put up a PYT of Bowman Crow. So all your teams in there. The prices have come down on that. So if you bought a PYT earlier in Bowman Chrome, it's not gonna be at the same price. Prices came down dramatically on that. And then I got the USA break coming back. This is the last letter, random letter break. Oh, you're way too cute to be J Unit. Whoa, hey, there's Lynette. How you doing? Hey, Lynette, I'm scared to ask. Hey, Mako Mark, he's here. I, I, I'm, I'm scared to ask, Lynette. Did, did your package arrive today? <laughs> I'm nervous. Anyways. I'm uh I'm gonna be open all weekend long. I don't got anything planned except, well, I got a couple things. But any of this fills up over the weekend or the day, I can hop on at any time, in the day or the night. I I am, I am very free this weekend. So just let you know, uh, get some spots. We can start rocking it. We got a, a football break on there. We tried to fill this morning. Didn't have much luck. It is older stuff. Oh, that's a negative. You know, a lot of people's packages didn't make it today, which they should have when I shipped it on Monday. But uh, we're going to chalk that up to the USPS. Good old USPS, always doing wonders for the world out there. Anyways, we got four hobby boxes. I'm not going to randomize. These are from that case I have broke before. I have the other ones put in different spots. So you're getting box 15, 1, 11, and 8. We're going to... There's only a couple left, so I'm not even going to bother randomizing it. We're just going to crack it. These are sealed. I just opened the case. When did I open the case? Last week. How much for the stupid Rockies? Uh, the stupid Rockies. I don't know. You tell me what you think they're worth. I'll, I'll put you down. Uh, I'll put you down, Dustin. The stupid Rockies. Yeah, we're going to get the one on one superflector now for the Rockies. Anybody interested in any of the teams that did not sell? You'll take the stupid Tigers. Oh, wait a minute. Got two, two things going for the Tigers. So I'll tell you what. Uh, started out. Started out at a price. Jason, or who, easy, you ask first. Say, put in chat what you're willing to pay for the Tigers and see if Lynette will pay more. See if I can get a, a... Yeah, these are all trout boxes right here. Trout, 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 trout. No, I'm being a child about that hit. Ah, you gotta let it go through. There's more hits. There's bigger and better hits than that one. Oh, that was a pretty nice hit. I actually had the, I, I told Maddie and uh, Brett, I'm like, hold it up to the camera. I want to stare at it. 
That was a pretty, pretty card. Very pretty. I love those uh, triple autos. The only thing that drive me nuts on the triple autos is the only thing that drives me nuts on this triple on the the triple threads. The th one thing that drives me nuts. You want to know what grinds my gears? They're sticker autos. They're all sticker autos. Fifteen, all yours, easy. Yeah, the sticker auto. Yeah, they all there. There is some on card, triple. So we also have the Royals. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, actually, the Royals are sold. I sold the DC Wells is going to pick those up. Where are we at? Bo top of the eighth. Airs Arena is up to bat. How about Airs Arena here in the playoffs, guys? Airs Arena has been a straight freaking fire for the Rays. How many Air you know how many Airs Arena autos I've pulled? You guys should be millionaires now. There's a few on card, J Unit? Okay. And Airs Arena whacks it, but they throw them out at first. I think it's the first time I've seen Air Zarina get thrown out. Anyways, I got the Cardinals up there. Anybody interested in the Cardinals, the Marlins, the Red Sox, or the Twins? If not, if nobody wants those, I'll just uh I'll just keep them in the house here. The why are the Phillies so pricey in triple threads? Maybe Schmidt's in there. Schmidt and, oh Steve Carlton. But they're in Steve Schmidt's in we pulled a Mike Schmidt in this in the lunchroom last week. Easy Belize, thank you. I just got your payment. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Any any requests before I go? Any of the new guys, uh, if you're in chat here, welcome aboard. This is the lunchroom. Thanks for joining in. I see there's a couple new faces. I'm going to read the, the names down. Hey. Hey, OMG, how you doing? Yeah, this is the late time lunchtime. <laughs> No Bohm or Howard in there. Hmm? Oh, wow. Well, right now, here's what we got for the break, guys. Ready to rock and roll. It's Triple V. Triple V in the house. I've got the Diamondbacks, Mako Mark. Ryan Thusen has the Hotlanta Braves. J-Unit on the B-Town Orioles. Boston, not sold. OMG's got the Cubs and the White Sox. Dwight Relay's got the Cincinnati Reds. OMG on the Indians. Dustin on the Rockies. Polizzi's going to take the Tigers. Astro is going to Rick Gore. Welcome back, Rick Gore. Richard, I think it's Richard Gordon. Appreciate you coming back. It's been a while since I've seen you in the lunchroom. Good to have you back, man. DC Wells, KC Royals. Kelly Mike with the Angles. Going to get that trout. These are the four trout boxes, I guaranteed them. OMG with the Dodgers. The Marlins, not sold. Mako Mark with the Brew Crew, not sold on the Twins. OMG picked up the Mets. J Unit with the Yankee Dankies. The Athletics going to Lynette and the Phillies. The Pirates stand alone down there in the middle of Pennsylvania. San Diego Padres going to downtown Gary Brown. Mako Mark's going to take the Giants. The, uh, the Beard Brothers, Brett. The Beardy Brett took the Mariners. He's actually in the middle of a break right now. Well, they might be wrapping up soon. Not sold is the Cardinals. The Tampa Bay Rays going to Dustin. The Rangers to Triple V. The BJs going to Brandon V. And the Nationals, Kelly Mike. Need to get on the rig list. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you heard Triple V, but all these ones in blue on the screen, if you're interested, uh, 
They're all up for bid if it, or sale. Um, Red Sox, Marlins, the Twins, or the Pirates, or the Cardinals. All of those are available. If not, no big deal. The the lunch crew. The, I'll, I'll I'll incorporate them into something. All right, all right, all right. I'm going to get going at here real soon. Like I said, I got a couple of new things up on the website. If you haven't checked it out. Got two boxes of two boxes of triple threads up there. If you want to get into a cheap random team break, um, it's not going to be a lot of cards in that. So there's a possibility your $20 might issue you no cards, but I'll try to uh I'll try to fill your bag when I send it. Make sure usually I give out something either a wax pack at least if you get no cards in a break. All right, I've also got a couple more eBay's going. I got some Bowman Chrome going, I believe it's on Sunday. Then I've got another one going on Tuesday. Anyways, let's not wait any longer. You guys want your teams. Let's get you your cardboard. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate you stopping by the lunch. We're doing some late night lunch. Hey, Victor. Victor, if you're listening, I got to get, I was, I've been meaning to message you. Uh, just, it's, I got a note here, actually. Uh... You overpaid on your shipping on the last eBay eBay break. I owe you. I'm going to be sending you something. I had a note sitting here about it. Um, yeah, I, I noticed when I shipped yours out, I, I, I used Pirate Ship. Uh, I don't know if you got the notice that I shipped out your package. Um, yeah, you way overpaid on shipping, so you got a rebate coming. Boston, Miami, how much for both? I could do both of those. If you want both of those, I could do, uh, how about, is 25 fair? Actually, 20, 20 bucks would be fine. Boston and the Marlins, 20. Pirates and Cardinals. Put triple V here. Would you think is is twenty five too much? Fifteen and ten. Twenty five sold. You good with twenty five OMG? I'll put you in. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. All right. I'm going to drop the checklist. I'm going to hold on. Unless last call for the twins, I can let them go for 10 bucks. 10 or 15. Well, I should 10 bucks is what I said. But he wants the twins. Let me know. All right. Hey, DC Wells. Good luck, everybody. Did go through the whole checklist, right? Yeah. Did I stop? Did I stop in the middle of it? Oh, my brain's dead. All right. Let's get in here. Let's get you some fire. Good luck, everybody. We got the top loader love here. We'll open that when we're done. D-World, good luck. Good luck to all. Hey, welcome to the lunchroom, D-World. Actually, your name sounds familiar. I think you've been here before. Hmm. 
Good luck to the team if you have a break. Good luck to you. Let's get some fire. Let's get some stadium club fire. Surprise, Rob from Texas Breaks isn't here. This is some of his favorite product. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Dwarl. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the love, man. All right, here we go. Oh, all right. Yeah, you're uh, Dwight. You got the reds. Dwight, I just realized it. See, I got three brain cells going on, Dwight, and uh, sometimes all three of them take a nap at the same time, and there's just nothing up there. It's like what they say by the Chinese, the ancient Chinese secret, small pea rattles loud in empty head. So Baltimore, Trey Mankini. We got the Josh Stomont, Casey Royals. All right, Dustin, thank you very much. Thank you. Ernie Banks, Chicago Cubs. And we got Wainwright for the Dirty Birds. Nice black name stamp there for him. Vladito and Mr. Anderson for Miami. Yeah, no rush if you haven't gotten it yet. I, I'm, I'm not going to resell the spots. They're yours. Let me get some top loaders ready. Dirt Rat, how we doing? Hey, thanks, Dirt Rat. Appreciate you swinging by. Love the company. Everybody's welcome to swing by the lunchroom and chitter chatter, bitter better, and talk about how the Minnesota Twins should be in the World Series. We're very, I'm very fond of talking about that. Although it looks like it's going to be the Astros against the Braves. I finally accepted that the Twins are not going to go to the World Series. But I don't know if I've accepted that the Houston Astros have a, the best chance, I think, in the American League to get there. I just wasn't ready for that. Kettle Marte. Domingo Leba. The Cool Shades. Robbie Ray. Arizona D-backs. We got John Means Well. He means to throw a strike right there. Boom, shakalaka. Aaron Saival from Cleveland. Some call the mistake by the league. And then it's Sir Didi Gregorius with the ruby, ruby red stamp. Mark Ghana, Hochland Athletics. Doing the swinger dinger. And like a good Glaber, Torres can't hit a ball. What happened, Glaber? What happened? As a lot of you know, I'm a Glaber fan. I personally collect Glaber. It's my PC. This guy made a great catch tonight. And uh, Glaber has not performed this year at all. He's not done anything except fill up a spot on the roster. Aaron JT Real Muto. Sheldon Noyce, David Ortiz, the big poppy, Tommy Lostella. Look, he's thrown out in Oakland, and now I think he is an athletic. I think I saw him playing earlier today. I think he got traded to Oakland, as Lostella did. There's Granky. Do I still have that PSA 9? Yes, I do. I've I've not gotten rid of any of my Glabers. TJ Zook, which is probably bad because I probably should have sold him when everybody thought that he was great because the price on Glaber has gone down. Oh, Stanton? Stanton just hit a two-run dinger? Johnny Bench. Eloy Jimenez. There's a Jordan Alvarez card. The Houston Astros. Who are they? They're Houston. 
we go. We got a little Zach Gallen, Arizona D-backs, Eduardo Escobar, and a Donnie Baseball with a ruby, ruby red. Donnie Baseball trying to make it to the World Series right now as the head coach of the Marlins. Jacob DeGrom and Austin Nola. Well, if you like this break and you want to do a late nighter, man, I'd be all down to kicking it. I don't got nothing going on tomorrow. We can we can keep on breaking. The lunchroom has done that in the past. We have broke till the sun came up. Logan Allen, Gio Urshela. He's been he's he's probably one of the Yankees that I really like. Well, probably yeah, he's one of the better performing Yankees right now. Andrew McCutcheon, sorry, uh, Lynette, he didn't sign this one. Let me see if I can find another one he signed. And here we go, Shohei Hotani, Bash and Burn for the Ingles. Going to Kelly Mike. Alex Bregman and Maximum Kepler. All right, next pack. Mookie Betts, Chipper in the Morning Jones, Hunter Harvey, Beattown Orioles, Sandy the Koufax, Brian Reynolds, and Rip in Peace for poor Soroka. Breaking and busting up his Achilles heel early in the season. Soroka in the wings card. Jake Frawley for Seattle, rookie card. And Matthew Oil Can Boyd. Oh, that wasn't Oil Can Boyd. Oil Can Boyd played in the 80s. Although I think that every time I see that card. Josh Donaldson. Rizzo. Yeah, did you? Yeah, I got a, I got a shipping refund coming to you, Victor. Uh, you bought in on my eBay break on Sunday. And uh, I want to let you know, I, I got, watch your uh, PayPal. You should see a refund coming. I haven't sent it yet. I got to figure out exactly, I got to figure out the difference. But you paid, you paid way too much. I don't know if you were aware of that. You didn't wait till I send, I, I, you didn't wait for me to send an invoice. No, you. You didn't do anything wrong. Actually, you you just overpaid is all. I mean, actually, it's kind of good for a business sense, but uh, I, I, if anybody ever pay, overpays on shipping, it's one of my big things. I always refund the shipping. Big Mac attack. Mark McGuire. I say save your money from shipping and buy the teams. Buy more teams. It's always been my thing on eBay. Never overpay on shipping. I come from, I'm a logistics guy working at UPS for uh, 10 years. Uh, the shipping prices are a thing for me. Trout, 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 trout. All right. Kelly Mike wants me to get the auto onto one of these. Let me see what I can do tonight. Let's see if I can do it. See if we got the trout box here. I don't know if he signs his actual card. I'm pretty sure he probably signs that power zone card. Kyle Hendricks, Willie Clark, Tyler Glasnow. Oh, man. Yankees love this guy. And San Francisco Giants coming up first with Jalen Davis. Nice looking card there. Nice card. Nice auto. Rookie card. Living large in San Fran there. San Francisco, Mako Mark. He is the man from Two Point, uh, wait, Two Strike Noise Podcast. Even if I need to break out the Sharpies, right? <laughs> I'll do what I can, Mike. I'll do it. I'm, I'm doing it. Sonny Gray with a ruby red. 
stamp on there. Josh Rojas and Walker Buehler taking up the bunt, bunt to bunt to bunt to bunt to bunt to bunt. So where are we at? Eight to four in the Yankees game. Top of the ninth. Tampa Bay up to bat. Two outs. So the Yankees get one more shot. There's a letter in there somewhere. Where's that? In the Reds? Oh, up there? Oh, and his signature? <laughs> kind of. A little scribble dibble. Danny Jansen Tanaka. He was pitching tonight for the uh, the Yankee Dankies. There's Dylan C. Chicago White Sox Chrome card. There we go. Nice one there. I don't know if it's numbered. No, but it's a nice Topps Chrome Chicago White Sox. Dylan C. It's not the one you wanted. OMG's got the uh, White Sox. OMG, I know you did not want Dylan C. I'm sorry. It's still a nice card, but I know the big one you want. I know the White Sox player you want, and it's well known you want the the really big Mendick hit. That's that's what I'm saying. That's where I'm going for. Love Mendick. He's from Rochester. Great player for the White Sox. Has a very commanding mustache. Commanding mustache. So such a commanding one. They talk about it on ESPN. Louis Erez for the Minnesota black name stamp. Chris Sale. And the Beebs. Next, Paco. There we go. We got Trey Turner, Washington Nationals. Sean Manea. Patrick Corbin, Corey Clubber, Discount Trout, Matt Thies, and Paul DeJong with the ruby red name stamp, Yamamoto and Jose Abreu. All right, next pack. There we go, Willie Calhoun. Marcel Ozuna, Jeffrey McNeil, Rod the Keru, and Quang Hun Kim for the Dirty Birds, the St. Louis Cardinals. There we go. There it is. Looks like my mic is down a little. Can you guys hear me okay? Am I broadcasting at a good volume? My uh, monitors look like they're way down. I don't know why that is. There was an OBS update today. Sometimes when they update their software, Giolito, Hammer and Hank Aaron and Michael Baez. Sometimes when they update the software, it messes up my settings in OBS. I don't know. There was a big update today. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Hope it's not buzzing or huzzing or fuzzing in your ear. Here we go. Brandon McKay, Tampa Bay Rays. Verlander, Houston Astros. Yasmani Grandel, loud and clear. All right, thanks, Mike. Appreciate the uh, the mic check. Checking, He's checking myself before I wreck myself. Matt Olson. Mr. Padres himself, Tony Gwynn. And Donnie Baseball. Ooh, a nice one. You know, this isn't the first one I've opened, though. I think I've gotten this before. And the orange was coming off. I think I got one of these last last break. Wasn't it Don Bay Mattingly? And, like, the ink was coming off. And now, this one, they perfected. There you go. That's to you, J Unit, right? I think you got the Yankees. Congrats. Nice Donnie baseball with the orange and clear. I don't know what you call that. The orange, maybe that's the orange circle card. What's the story, Morning Glory? Yeah, I like it. And boy, hitting it to Detroit all day long. Next pack.
We got Logan Webb. San Francisco. Should have another auto coming here soon. Miggy Cabrera, Detroit Rock City. Nolan, the Ryan. Hi, Jin Ryu. Max Muncy. The Bash and Burn Juan Soto card. And a Boba Shet rookie right under it. So what are they doing? They're pulling the picture. Boba Shet rookie card. Nice card. I like that Bichette card. That it's a great picture. Mr. Pine Tar Man himself, Georgie Brett. The most epic home runs ever made in in history of the MLB included parts of a tree splattered all over a bat. Lewis Thorpe, Derek Dietrich, Josh Van Meter, Dario Agrezal, 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 oh, J Ram for Cleveland. There's a Bob Feller switched around, little ruby red Feller. Cleveland. And there you go. There you go, Lynette. Nothing but the brick, baby. Too cool to be true. And don't just stand there. Bust a posy. Next pack. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Let's get those monsters. Let's see. Is this one a gold brick? Dustin May. Sign it for you, Lynette. <laughs> no, we got one ink so far, uh, Dustin, Jalen Davis. I'm waiting for the uh, second auto. Might be this pack or next pack, but it's coming. It's going to be a big one. I'm going to get my oven mitts out. Let's get the Robert Redemption. Yeah, baby. Let's get it all. Nick Castellanos, once I start to focus. Giolito, this is the day it's going to happen. Clevenger. I got a feeling we're going to have fire here. Trent Grisham. Frank Thomas power zone card. Couldn't be this. This couldn't be the auto, could it? No. There's a nice, there's a nice white socks for you. Frank the Tank Thomas, the big hurt. I thought that was going to be a signature at first. It's flipped over and that's uh we haven't got our second one. Moose the Moose Mustakis and Edgar Martinez. All right, here we go. Here's your big bad redemption right here. We got Bubba Starling. Kyle Schwarber. Eugenio Suarez. Mr. Anderson. And a black numbered Josh Van Meter. Out of 25. Well, Cincinnati Reds, you've never looked so good. Out of 25, Josh Van Meter. Cincinnati Reds going to Dwight. Congrats, Dwight. Don't know much about Van Meter myself. If Crikey was here, he would uh, give us the lowdown if he was... Trash or, or, or awesomeness. Dwirl, Dwirl, Dwirl. My man, thanks for uh, jo coming back and joining the lunch breaks. But that one is all yours. That's seventeen out of twenty-five. Congrats on that. Nice Van Meter coming your way. We put it down here. That's the last pack mojo there. Get into the next pack here. Sean Murphy with a ruby red stamp. Randall Grichuk and Louis Severino. Still having baseball cards, although he played five games in two years. And here's the top loader. Ooh, ooh, ooh.
It's a Seattle one. It's the big unit on a big truck. Going to Brett the Beard Bro. Little Randy Johnson. Nice one there. I've got, I've actually followed the Beard Brothers stint and I have uh, top loaders I can throw these all in. Get that to Brett. Got them right here. I'll throw this right in here for them. There we go, Brett. Congrats. You got the Randy Johnson. Nice hit there. All right, let's go. Next box. Let's get some more fire. Out of 25 there. See if we get the trout out of 101 coming up right now. Get the Mojo Rise in here. There's our next one for this box. Two more autos coming out of this box. Good luck to everybody. Like I said, if you guys are interested in more cardboard, there are uh, there are more breaks on the website, the Lunchbox website. Throw it up there. No free shipping off the website. No extra shipping when you uh, order on the website. Check out some of those breaks. Got PYT Chronicles. Got PYT Bowman Chrome. I've got a random two boxes of triple threads. Random team break. Might be a little much for two boxes, but that's what they go for. I'm not killing it. Mitch Hanniger. Pete Alonzo. Airs Arena. How about the hottest thing going on in the playoffs right now? I'm going to top load Ayers Arena, even though he's beating up on my Yankees. I should be uh, I should be doing terrible things to this card. But cardboard is cardboard. And there's the Daryl Strawberry looking too deep into my eyes. That is a filthy card. Junior Fernandez. And LeMahieu, the batting champion of the league with a black name stamp like that DJ LeMay who congrats there J unit that's a great card Chris Sale Boston Red Sox and the Beebs Cleveland Indians all right next pack up Springer hardly know her Lewis Erez. Areas, Erez. There's a Kyle Lewis for Seattle. That's going to Brett. I hear Castillo on the mound. Bottom of the ninth. Two outs, two balls, and one strike. This guy's two strikes away or one out away of wrapping up their second win. Tampa Bay. There we go. Judge grounds out to third and Tampa Bay moving on. Korea. Raymond Laureano. There's Lou Gehrig with the red. Yamamoto and Abreu. So there it is, OMG. The Tampa Bay is, jinx is here. Tampa Bay playing the Yankees like they did during the regular season. Like mad animals. Rip in peace, Alkaline. 
Jose Altuve. Nobody messes with a Jesus. Lizardo. Honus Wagner. Susu Sudigo. Another one. Oh, man, he's looking good, too. Damn it. Damn it. Putting top loaders on Tampa Bay Rays. This should be against... I should, I should be struck by lightning or something while I do this. Not good for the Yankee soul, but man, they're looking great. Great rookies. I mean, Tampa Bay is tight. Giolito. He looked good this year. In playoffs. Hammer and Hank Aaron and Michael Baez. All right, let's keep it rolling. Next pack up. There's Castillo, Cincinnati Reds, Chris Bryant, Demerit for Detroit Rock City, Nelson Cruz, Riss Hoskins, and a Vladito turned around. Nice one for Toronto. Is the Dodgers game going? How about this Dodgers Padres game? What do you guys think about? How about you West Coasters? Sick of watching the Yankees win. I mean, lose. Watching the Yankees lose every night. Maybe we'll come over here and see the Padres kick the Dodgers' butt. I don't think it's going to. I don't know. Dodgers have some great, great pitching, so it's going to be tough for the Padres. Garcia Pera. Veritek. Bobby Bradley. Hello, Bobby. Joey Lucchesi. Lucchesi. Josh Hader. I don't know why you hate her. You never even met her. Brick Harper showing off that luscious hair with the bash and burn. And behind Brick is a Canadian, Bobacha. There we go, George Brett. Pine tar man himself. Ending out that pack. Next pack up. Andrew Benatendi. All right, who do we got? Manny Machado against Clayton Kershaw. Wow, that's a hell of a matchup. I like this. How's this going to end? Top of the six. Dodgers beating the Padres 4-1. to one. Yikes. Garkia Yastrzemski. Check swing. Wizard of Oz. Ozzy Smith. And another Ozzy behind Ozzy Smith, the Ozzy Albies. Brick Harper and Busta Posey. All right, next pack. Still got two autos to get out of this. Coming up to the halfway mark after this box. Front nine will be done. Get on over to the back nine. Nick Marquesicus. Willie Smith. Andres Munoz, Noah Syndergaard, home run, Machado just hit it out, well, that's Machado, dude can play, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if his neighbors like him though, we got a Brick Harper power zone card, Always wondering if they're going to be signed when I flip them over. Not this time, Lynette. Next one will be a signed Brick Harper. Let's get some Rays ink since of the Rays win. Oh, Dustin. Put the salt in the wound, huh? Mike Moustakis, I already have been top-loading your Tampa Bay Rays. I hate to do it, but, man, those guys are really playing well. 
those rookies, Susu Sudigo and Arizarina are just off the chains, man. Arizarina is bombastic. Got a little static? All right, thanks, man. We'll get it. Uh, so much for them fixing that. All right, thanks. It should be gone now. The static comes and goes with no, no, no reckoning. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, anytime you hear that, should be gone now. I don't know. I don't wear headphones. Oh, here we go. Detroit Rock City coming in with the next hit. Eric Hosmer just homered. Slam Diego's in effect, guys. How about Slam Diego? Got another home run. Kurt Shaw's letting him go. Still one of the best relics I ever pulled on this break, on this channel. The Jake Rogers hat relic. Louis Thorpe with a ruby red. Randall Grichuk and Louis Severino. All right, next pack. Kyle Hendricks. Abraham Toro, Ryan Sandberg, J.D. Martinez, and here's a Riss Hoskins Chrome card. Not numbered. Looking good. I think he's trying to order a hot dog from the stands or a beer. He's like, hey, beer guy. Over here. Nomar Garza Perara with the black name stamp. It's not numbered, is it? No. Eric Hosmer takes it downtown. Good Lord. Clayton Kershaw's getting whipped. Ding, ding, ding. Ring that bell. And Justin Toyna. LA Dodgers. All right, next pack. Here we go. Aaron Nola, Philadelphia Phillies. Willie Mays. He may run like Willie Mays, but he hits like a turd. Jose Barrios. Stan Musial. St. Louis Cardinals and a Michael Conforto. New York Metropolitans. And there's Mookie Betts, L.A. Dodgers, bash and burn. How many home runs has Mookie hit tonight? Hey, it's Josh Atkins. How you doing, man? Doing a little eBay break here. A little stadium club action. Hope all is well with you, man. How's your side of the ra-cha-cha? -cha? The Yankees back. <laughs> well, whatever you guys want to get behind, I'm almost halfway done with this. If you guys want to break something, I got to check out that website. Is some of the better some of the better ones I got going. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's definitely windy, 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 windy. I lost lots of branches today. That that storm came through a pretty lickety split. I was uh, I was uh, I was on the uh, microphone earlier today, and I was actually with Dustin and Gary Brown was in here. And I go, "There's a good chance it might send snow." I go, "It's the one thing about Western New York." And Josh knows this. It can snow on a nice day, and it didn't snow, but it sleeted. We had like we almost had an inch of sleet here in Gates, Josh. I don't know if you got the sleet where you were. It sleeted like ridiculous for 20 minutes. 
whole ground was covered with balls of ice. So it wasn't snow, but they really tried real hard to snow here. Sam Hilliard, Eduardo Rodriguez, and Colton Wong. Yeah, we had sleet here in Gates. It was pretty silly. David Wright and Mike Abroso. That's what they say about Rochester, New York. If you don't like the weather, you wait 20 minutes. All right, next back up. We've got I Ichiro in his purple workout uniform here. Tommy PH fam. Dropping the ball the other night. I watched him. Ball got hit to him and he dropped it in the outfield. Vogelbach. Colton Wong. Louis Severino. With a ruby red stamp. Sean Doolittle and Ozzy Elbies. Josh, uh, did you get your package from that? I sent I think you I think I sent one out to you on Monday. You probably got yours on Tuesday. Usually your stuff uh, delivers next day. Hopefully it got all right. I hope everything looked okay. Jalen Davis, David Dahl, DJ Lomehu, Starling Marte, and a Garrett Cole, Emperors of the Throne card for the Yankees. Hope everybody else has been getting their packages okay this week. If you didn't get it today on Wednesday, you should be getting it tomorrow. Most places in the States. Except for Victor. Doing it now. You got it, Victor. Yeah, Victor doesn't get his in two days. I was just going to go over Victor's. Victor gets his every uh, couple weeks. Hope everything is well on your side of the pond, Victor. Thanks again for your service. Brandon Lowe. Ryan Zimmerman, Chris Davis, got yours today, Kelly Mike. Nice, Chris Davis behind something stuck. Lou Gehrig, Tim Lincium, and a Pete Alonzo power zone card. Nice one for the Mets. Edbert Elzele and Dallas Kuchel. All right, next pack. Uh oh. My computer is giving me weird colors. Huh. Is it is it getting choppy? Am I dropping frame rates? Just got a couple red lights flash up on my... Oh, looks like it's okay now. I don't know if you guys saw. Was there any uh, swirly dirlies on the stream? Looks like the stream just did a hiccup. Jorge Porsada. Anthony K. Zach Grenke. Corey Seeger, Kirby Yates. And Yadier... It got choppy for you. Chopped for you. Yeah, I just got all. Uh, there we go. Yader Molina with the orange, black and white. Yeah, it just showed me a couple messages saying it wasn't. It said I dropped some frames. Looks like it's back on track now. That was. There's. Okay, cool. Paul DeJong and Sir Didi Gregorius. That must be the disturbance in the force because we got last pack mojo here. Let's do it right now. Come on, guys. Let's go. No, no more time. No more messing around. Let's get the hits here and let's make them big. Elvis Andrus, Charlie Morton. Oh, man. He got. I think he gets the win against the Yanks tonight. Strawman. Strowman. 
Strowman, Strowman, and boom, Kyle Lewis. Hello, here comes some fire. Seattle Mariners coming in with the next hit. Nice, Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis, a frequent fueler here at the lunchroom. Not the first time I pulled him. Hey, is that Brett? Look what I just pulled you. Congrats, Brett. Hey, congrats on your microphone, too. Your microphone sounded really good tonight. Congrats, you got a nice Kyle Lewis auto. There we go. Yes, that is a nice card. Yu Chang, Raphael Devers, Nolan Ryan, Ruby Red, and Raphael. That is a nice card. Lewis, Rookie of the Year all day long. They haven't announced those yet, have they? I didn't miss that, did I? We were doing good. So I, I tried to get into your uh, triple threads, Brett. I uh, I got outbid a couple times. I had the lead on a bunch of them. I even had the lead on the Yankees for a while. Then the last, last couple seconds, they just went off the charts. Went way over my bid. I don't know if it was a sniper or what. It was, you can pull, I saw some nice fire. I saw you got the uh, Cecil Fielder 101. That's pretty good. Let's open the top loader, see who's got the next top loader. We got a little New York Metropolitan action. How about Jacob DeGrom with that Coca-Cola sign? Very nice. New York Mets. There you go, OMG. There's another one for you. Yeah, I had a couple high bids in, and then, yeah, like at the last second, like with, before I could put in another one that was already outbid. It was like in the last five seconds, I think it was. But that happens. That's eBay. eBay's full of snipers. Especially on the newer product. That stuff happens. Pretty common. So what do you think of the triple threads, Brett? Do you like that stuff? That is gorgeous product. Yeah, I, I agree. It, it is fancy, fancy product. I love it. Looks so good. They do a really good job with it. All right, there's that top loader. Here's the next top loader. Set it here. We'll wait till the end of this box. Let's get two more hits. Let's see if we get something rare. Something big. Let's get the Arenado Auto, the Trout Auto, and the Lou Bob Auto. All in one box. Coming right up. Yeah, it is generous. It's, uh, I, I gave one to my wife last year because that was her favorite thing. She wanted it so bad. So I gave her a box. And if you remember, let's fill the triple threads on your site. I'll take three spots. Yeah, go for it, guys. Forgot the Bichette Auto. Oh, that's right. The Bichette Auto. I did get a bow Bichette out of... Got that out of Chronicles, right? Yeah, if you guys want to do the triple threads we got, if you're uh, into it, Josh is going to make a run at it. I'll put the link to it. I do have two boxes of it on hand. I didn't buy a case of it. I just only bought a couple boxes. 
Oh, oh, the Bichette Auto. I'm sorry, Anthony. Okay, yes. Along with that, also a Bo Bichette also. So, Trout, Bichette, Robert. Trout, Bichette, Robert. Who are the other ones I was looking for? Arenado. Arenado. So, there we go. All, we're going to get four autos out of one box. <laughs> Anyways... Josh was saying there is I do have uh, random teams of uh, triple threads if you guys are interested it's up on the website I only have two boxes of it Ryan O'Hearn get let's get that O'Hearn while we're at it we gotta get some Kansas City love there we go the Jesus Louis Castillo Chris Bryant Kyle Tucker Sean Murphy and Otani Bash and Burn. Done with the first two boxes. Now we're on the back two boxes. This is like the back nine at the golf course. Made the turn at the clubhouse. Shohei Otani. You Darvish and Mike Soroka. You have a rookie card auto of O'Hearn for sale? Well, DC Wells, are you interested? I know DC sells a lot, too. He, he's got a lot of cards for sale. Travis Demerit. No more. Garcia, Garcia, Garcia Para. Josh Veritek. Oh, we got a thicky, thicky here, folks. What does it mean? Is it a triple rainbow all the way? Or is it a Houston Astros hit? Jose Canseco, and how about a Jordan Alvarez Instavision card? I think that is a case hit. Houston getting in my face all day long today. Just the thought of them going back to the World Series. It sure looks like it's going to happen to. Who is Houston? Now, let me pull up the checklist. I took it down for a second. Nice hit for Houston. Jordan, Instavision. Rick, Rick Gordon. Rick Gore. Welcome back to the channel, Rick. Got yourself a nice Jordan. I believe that's a case hit. I don't see those very often. I have pulled one before. I think I got a... I pull a Vladimir Guerrero. Can't remember who I pulled. I think you get one in a case. Very nice card, though. Congrats on that. Hit. Zach Collins, Austin Hayes. Next pack. You live in Kansas City and can't sell them. <laughs> Bobby Bradley, Andrew Benatendi, Ronald Acuna, Roberto Clemente, Jock Peterson, and Christian Yellick turned around. Power zone card. And an Otani. Whew. Oh, so they pulled they pulled Kershaw. It was a Yelich Power Zone card. Otani and Alex Young. Dave, what's up? What's going on, man? You had to go shopping on the lunch site. Thank you, sir, OMG. Appreciate the support, man. We'll be uh, I'll be doing my shopping when uh, are you gonna do a break tomorrow, OMG? There's a Tatis Jr. Are you doing a throwback Thursday? I'll be make sure I get into it. Last week I was a little late to the party. All right. I I'm there. I'm there. I'm going to try my best to be there at least. Yadier Molina and how about How about Dwyer here? Dwight Dwight R coming in two hits with the same guy, dude. Share share the hits, man. Dave, uh, there's been talk about the triple threads I have on my website. I got two boxes of triple threads, random teams, 
uh, for 20 bucks. If you're interested in getting a random team, 20 bucks, two bo- it's only two boxes. There's a good chance there might not be anything in it, though. There, there's a good chance you might get no cards, but I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can't. I'll, if you get nothing in a break, I'll, I'll make sure you, I'll send you something. Either a wax pack. The van meters are here. Won't go through for you? Shows there's 25 left. We even traded that dude. <laughs> uh, let me try to look at it. I, can, I, gotta wait. I can look at transactions, actually. Check out if they're hung up. Hold on, let me take a look here. OMG, thank you so much for your order, man. OMG, you are the man. I I I feel like I should give you one of my kids for this purchase. Thank you. I'm gonna send you I'm gonna send you the two youngest. I, you don't have enough kids in your life. Maybe you can have twins. Let me see here, Josh. Yeah, it shows shows that yeah, something happened. They had to abandon it. Yeah, you might want to just look at something else. Hold on one second here. All right, here we go. Let's finish this pack up. Yeah, if you're interested, grab some triple threads. Luke Voigt, maybe that's already sold out. That's why I was struggling. Walker and Garver. We could do some triple threads. We could do we could do anything you got on the site there. Release day today. It would be pretty amazing to get a nice hit out of two boxes there. Elvis Andrus. Rangers, Mitch Haniger, Big Meat Pete, Alonzo, Xander Bogertz, James Karinchak, and Eduardo Rodriguez, Ruby Red, turned around. Carlos Slamtana for Cleveland, and who does it well? Jeff Bagswell. All right, next pack. Let's get in it. Let's see what we got here. San Diego is still up to bat. They do call up their third pitcher. Holy cow. There's Airs Arena. Oh, this is going to hurt. It's going to hurt, Dustin. I'm going to do it for you, though. I'll top load the Airs Arena. This actually might end up being a very valuable card in a year or two. This dude has been lighting it up. I don't know if he's got a hot streak or if that's just what he does. Springer. Luis Serez, Michael Chavez, Dale Moyfi, Flaherty, the Dirty Birds, AJ Puck, and Trevor Boer. All right, next pack.
There's more Kyle Lewis love. You still around, Brett? There you go. That's one without ink. That's what you get, man. But this has been a pretty healthy one for Seattle. A couple base cards. I have not seen one signing of the other one. Lewis Robert. Not even the base. El Kaline Altuve. All right. Thanks, man. Appreciate that, Dave. Freddie the Freeman. Edbert Elzale. Whoa, look at that one. Number to 25 for Chicago Cubs. Didn't even notice that when it was flipped over. Nice chrome rainbow foil for Chicago Cubs. Seven out of 25. Very nice. Who has the Cubbies? OMG, congrats. Nice card, OMG. That's Edbert Elzale out of 25. Rainbow foil. Hey, Deep South card collectors. How are you, man? Thanks for swinging by the lunchroom. We're doing some late night lunch right now. Joey Vato and the Gavin Lux butt card. Hope you're having a good one there, Deep South card collectors. We are we're currently in the middle of a eBay break right now. If um, if you're interested in another one, we've got I've got some up on my website. You want to swing over to the uh, Lunchbox website? Check out got some breaks there. There's been pondering of doing a triple threads random team break after this. I think they're trying to get the momentum going. Two boxes. I got them just above the cost. There is a Miami hit. I think Miami was picked up by Triple V, Yamamoto. There we go. Bo Bichette turned around. That's going to be a red stamp for the Blue Jays. Did Bellinger just steal a home run from Tatis? What just happened? It, Tatis just got robbed? I hear the screen going nuts. Bellinger just took it, took it away. Whoa, Bellinger! Wow, that's the playoff, man. That's a hell. What a freaking hit, huh? Tatis just got robbed. Call the cops. Mike Brousseau. That was a catch by Belly. That that was pretty good. That was gorgeous, actually. You tried blaming me. I see your moves now, OMG. <laughs> hey, I would pick Bellinger as the first pick in a draft. If I was doing a baseball draft, I'd definitely pick Bellinger. Ryan Zimmerman, Nationals. Chris Davis, Victor Robles, Javi Baez. There's a Barry Larkin. How about how about you, Dwyerl? Aren't you going Dwyerl on this channel? The Stadium Chrome card already got two hits. Now you got yourself a Chrome Barry Larkin. Non numbered. Very nice. Cincinnati Reds having a good night. Snipe me here and blame me for sniping you in beers. <laughs> JD Martinez, Boston. Black nameplate. <laughs> Is that, that I know what that's called. I, I've heard of this before, what he did. That's called reverse mitosis, Dave. Adrian Morjohn said, Sn Whoa.
Whoa, Josh. Oh, man. I've had that happen. I've had that happen. You know, it's kind of good, but it kind of sucks. <laughs> do you want me to, uh, well, do you want me to help you? I can, I can go ahead and I can take two off and you can, once you get it straightened out, you can send over. I also know where you live too, so. But man, that sucks. And it's also a good thing. You know, that's, it's one thing I'd never have a problem with using my credit cards anywhere. I feel like the, uh, the amount of backing the banks give those credit cards for fraud is pretty solid. If you get ripped off, I've been ripped off many a times in my account. The bank always backs you up. I've never had the bank not back me up. Now, it may take a while, but they always back me. They've always backed me up. I had I had somebody in Mount Rainier, Washington, which is on the other side of the continent, drain uh drain my checking account dry. It was like 2500 bucks. And uh they drained it dry at like three different ATMs in Mount Rainier, Washington. They found out my 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 pin number somehow and I, it didn't get stopped though it drained dry then they hit like three overdraw marks and then uh then it then it locked up and then it was a kind of a pain i will say it was a pain going through the process i got every bit of the penny back yeah I, oh i know you are josh i know you are i'm not worried about you I'm, i'll throw you down for two josh yeah, Mount Rainier. I'll put. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take out two for you, and then when you get a site, whenever you get it straightened out, just you know, you know how to fix it. We'll, we'll, we can talk turkey. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. That's my luggage code, Dwight. <laughs> that's that's my code for my luggage. <laughs> oh, mine too. <laughs> Is that from Spaceballs? Best movies ever. All right. I, I got you for two. That leaves us 22 left. 22 left in the triple threads break. Lots of room left if you guys want to get a couple spots. I got you. Josh, you're in for two. Hey, dirt rap. We're uh, I'll I'll show you what we're trying to do here. Uh, I've got two hobby boxes of triple threads. I was just working on my website. You got all your duties done. Yeah, that, that that's a horrible feeling, Josh. So let me try to comfort you with cardboard. Back to the break here. Let's let's not stop where we had. We still got more cards to go. We're uh Tatis is pissed, is he? It's like taking candy away from the baby. Danny Jansen. Tanaka. All right, Mookie Betts up to bat. Boy, this this game's getting pretty jacked. Sam Hilliard, Dominguez, El Tuve. The Buzz Boy, Berizito, and Machado. Oh, they couldn't turn the double. They tried to turn the double play. It did not happen. Kind of looked like a... Are we blaming Tatis for it? Betts is on first. They got the runner at second. Corey Seager up to bat. All right, next pack. It's a hell of a game right now. The San Diego LA game still got quite a bit left too. 
This is a good game. Austin Meadows, Trey Turner, probably one of the best ones I've seen so far in the playoffs. The rest have been pretty much locks. DJ LeMayu, Starling Marte, Juan Soto to 99. Is this an auto? Do we just get ourselves a Juan Soto auto, maybe? Nope, just a numbered Juan Soto. I was hoping. I think he signs these, but anyways, to 99. Juan Soto, Washington Nationals. Dang it, what did I do with my spreadsheet? Kelly Mike, there you go, Kelly Mike. I tried to get you a Soto auto, didn't happen. I was trying to will it. These things are stuck right together. Stop being stuck. And in the wings, Kyle Tucker. Seeger gets a base hit. Uh oh, Mookie's cut. <laughs> Mookie almost went for third. <laughs> Boy. Talk about a wild game. This is a this is what baseball is made for. The West Coast people are doing it up. This is a slam fest. Any Soto is a good Soto. Yeah, you you are right there, sir. Any Soto is good Soto. I have pulled Soto's auto a couple times. I wonder if we can get one tonight. Sean Manea. Patrick Corbin, Willie Calhoun, Seeger, just up to bat. Kirby Yates and Riss Hoskins of the Power Zone card. Turner's been a, Turner was a beast this year. I had him on my fantasy league. He did really good. Speaking of the fantasy team, we have a couple options in the Twitter chat about breaks we're going to do. Um, I do think Josh Bell and there we go. There's Turner right there. I do think I, I do want to do the break like during either before or while the World Series is going on. Uh, I was looking at it either Monday or Tuesday of the World Series. I think that's the 20th or the 21st, 20, 19, 20, 21st of this month. So almost a week or two weeks away, we'll be doing our uh, nine. We'll be doing our fantasy break. All the folks that are into it, I know we've been chatting about it for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna. I'll, I'm gonna put out an email by the end of this week uh, with all the different break options we have and let everybody vote on it. Everybody that submitted one. And uh, whatever it is, I'll order it, have it ready, and we'll break it then. We'll break it either during the World Series or the day before the World Series. Almost your birthday. What's the story, Morning Glory? Is that a... Uh, no. That might be a variation. Photo variation. Justin Dunn, Seattle. And Ty Cobb cruising along in his Cobster. Dirt Rat just bought two threads. Thank you, sir. Anthony Varga, your birthday's coming up. Yours is the 25th. DC Wells. Wow, you guys. Uh-oh. Did you guys trade mothers in the hospital? You guys were both born on the 25th. Which hospital were you in? Were your parents smart enough to mark you with a Sharpie underneath a, a finger or a foot where they couldn't erase it? Maybe you guys are long lost uh, relatives. Brock Burke. Try to get this right. I can't get this card off the other one. There's Yoli Guriel. You were born in California. Oh my God, that's where Anthony was born. <laughs> Adam Wainwright. The Sanchino. 
<laughs> Willie Calhoun and the Texas Rangers. Well, we'll take back that theory. Elamar and Salvador Perez separated at birth and brought together in a lunchbox break. Yes. <laughs> Yes, see that? See this? The lunchbox break, bringing families back together again. <laughs> we're, we're, I'm trying to bring, bring, I'm trying to bring uh, peace to the world of the cardboard and families back together. This is your therapeutic session with the lunch man here. Big Mac attack, Chris Paddock, the sheriff. Hallmark movie of the week. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lorenzo Kane. <Kane's okay. laughs> Dansby Swanson. <laughs> oh my. That's pretty damn funny. There you go. There's an Aquino for the Cincinnati power. We got Chris Sale, Emperors of the Zone, the Parent Trap movie revisited Marcus Simmons, and Ken Giffey Jr. robbing a home run there, it looks like. Well over. All right. Last pack mojo should get an auto here. Should get the autograph. Good luck to everybody. See what we can get. Mitch Keller. You say Kakuchi. Eddie Rosario. Jonathan Villar. Is it auto going to be stuck like that? I can't even get to it. JD Martinez. Did I already pull it? Did we get robbed? Oh, man. Come on, Tops. So we got five. I wonder if it was stuck to another card. Well, we got five autos, and we opened three boxes. Well, it's going to be one of those nights. Unless... It got stuck to the back. These have been sticking like crazy. I don't know if you've noticed while I've been breaking. They're all stuck to each other. I thought I pulled them all apart. Oh, boy. I think we might have got, sh got shorted an auto. Let me just double check here. Those are the brakes. <laughs> Those are the breaks featuring lunchbox breaks. You know what? I think Top shorted us an autograph. Marvelous. Unless it considered that uh I think I don't think that was in this box. Flash frame. Nope. I do believe. Well. They meant to put it on the Trout Auto, but they forgot. Well, sorry, guys. I'll be putting in a notice with Tops. This is not the first time this has happened. Pretty sure they shorted an auto. So there'll be three in the next one. Maybe, maybe not. Not even one Lewis Robert base card. That seems odd. That happened in the other night break, too. There must be a huge Lewis Bob coming out. Or not. Sometimes Tops just doesn't care. Did did the case hit take away? That's what I was just wondering, but I thought that came out of the other box. I don't think it came out of this box, that box. I mean, if I come across the auto, I'll let everybody know, but I, you saw me open them all on camera. I'm not, not hiding autos, that's for sure. The only thing I can think of, if you saw when I opened these packs, they're stuck together. They're, like, glued together. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Could this be signed? I forgot about the top loader. Maybe this is the signature. Box loader auto. Oh, boy. Wow, is it? Oh, my. It's a Cal Ripken. Oh, man. My heart just started thumping. J Unit, there's your Kale Ripken, but man, I thought this was going to be signed. I was really going to lose my mind. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Nope, the box loader wasn't signed. Damn you, Tops. Why you do this? Maybe it was another van meter. <laughs> well, maybe I can get two autos out of this one to make up for it. I know, I know. In these boxes, because I've submitted, I can. I'll, I'm going to submit it, but man, it takes forever, and nothing ever happens. I've never had anybody give me anything extra from it. But there is a, right here, this is the quality control stamp. They put it on all the boxes. This, they actually ask for this when you tell them that you're um, you're short or you didn't get what you're supposed to get. They'll ask for the stamp on the box. That's the that's the person who checked it. He was the one that confirmed that the, the box was okay to ship. So... Looks like the same guy did the whole damn box. So it's his fault. Let's go get him. Number 227-170. Number 227-170 of Tops. You better watch it. We're coming after you. The lunch, the lunch crew wants their autograph, and they want it now. Yeah, they'll probably put another van meter. <laughs> Kelly wants his... Trout Auto. Dustin wants his Arenado Auto. Uh, Dwarl, who wanted the uh, Blue Jays? Brandon Vargas, he wants his uh, he wants his Boba Shed Auto. OMG wants his Lou Bob Auto. We'll go hit up 227. Lou Bob Redemption. Maybe that's what's coming up. Maybe that's what we have in store for us. Byron Buxton with the black letter. You can smell it. TJ Zook, Lance McCullers Jr. All right, next pack. The big unit, Randy J, Danny J, Tanaka, Tyler Glasnow, Robinson Cano, Brick Harper, Bash and Burn. Ed Alberte Mondasi stealing them bases. Number one base stealer of the year. And there's Trout, 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 Trout. We haven't even seen a Lewis Robert base, have we, OMG? That's odd. Usually you get one or two base. All right, next Donnie Baseball, Brock Burke, Guriel, Sandy Koufax, Brian Reynolds, James Karinchak with the Ruby Red, DeGrom, and Austin Nola. 
Oops, looks like I hit my camera a little bit here. Let me fix it, try to even it out. All right, next pack. Austin Meadows, Trey Turner, Sean Manea, Lords Guriel Jr., Nomar Mazzara, and Aquino turned around on the wings. Hey, Victor, how was your run? Well, right now, we got a uh, Jake Rogers hit. We got a Kyle Lewis hit. Jalen Davis and two Van Meters. And the last box I just opened was short and auto. Should have had one more auto, and I did not have it. So we're uh, we're all mad at tops. We're gonna we're gonna bust up tops quality control. Hey Josh, welcome back. Uh, no, I don't think the triple threads is filled. I could take us over to the website. Still got these ones here. Uh, I don't want uh, I won't go off, but I'll just take a look at the website. Website shows triple threads at 18. 18 left to go. Thanks for everybody who bought in. We'll do this right after here. Yeah, three autos in this one. Two hits to the same guy, and then me. Let's get three autos in this box. Or let's get a Goliath of a card. It would be great. Mark McGuire. Looks like a Chrome one coming up. Chris Paddock. Lorenzo Kane, Felix Hernandez. And Nico Horner with the Chrome shiny refractor looking. Boy, that's a nice looking Chicago Cubs card. Man, that's a gorgeous card. I know they're coming out with a Chrome version of this later this year. That's going to be pretty awesome. I think it's going to be pretty expensive too, along with awesome. Everything they're trying to milk this cow as much as, as every udder they can. Chicago Cubs, OMG, that one's yours. That's a gorgeous one. I like that one a lot. Sunny Gray, Emperors of the Zone, and Bregman and Kepler. All right, next pack. Should have at least two autos out of these this box. Jeffrey McNeil, Brandon McKay, Albert Pujo, Yamaguchi. Oh, it snuck right up on me. Lynette getting the Matt Olsen. Red foil parallel. Didn't even see it coming. Cut back autos in boxes. There's a nice hit. It's not the Lou Bob redemption we wanted. But here we go. Matt Olson. Going to Oakland Athletics. Mr. Lynette, you're looking for your Phillies autos. I can't give you a Philly auto. How about a Matt Olson? I thought it was a Lou Bobby. <laughs> I thought it was too. Red foil parallel. There you go, Lynette. Nice hit there. I thought it was a Lou Bob <laughs> too. I did. Ron Acuna, red foil. Ted Williams and Arenado. Well, then, well, there's one redemption. Well, Lynette might be busy right now. He might have uh, stepped out. It's getting a little late. I know he's, he's the teacher, so he might be. I might have to get to bed. He's got school in the morning. He's got school in the morning. Mitch Keller, Kikuchi, Eddie Rosario, Miguel Sano, Willie Clark, Justin Turner, Red Foil. No, there hasn't been very many Royal cards. Jake Fraley, Matthew Boyd. 
I have gotten a Royals auto. I know there's a pitcher in here. I think I pulled last time. Ryan Zimmerman, Chris Davis, Victor Robles, Max Muncy, and Mr. Upton himself, Josh of Justin Verlander with the Chrome card. I like this picture. Pretty cool. Verlander not pitching this year, but the Astros don't even need him. They still are freaking fantastic. Pete Alonzo with a black name stamp, black foil stamp. And Hammer and Hank Aaron along with Michael Baez for the Padres. All right, next pack. Elvis Andrus, Mitch Haniger, Pete Alonzo again, Dario Agrizal, J Ram, Xander Bugertz, Red Foil, What's the Story, Morning Glory, and Luke Voigt. All right, took a little sip of wah wah there. Next back up Patrick Corbin, Willie Calhoun, Marcel Ozuna, and there he is. First appearance in the break. No ink on him, but you got the base one. All right, at least I got one out of four boxes. Holy cow. Patrick Sandoval and a Vlad Guerrero Power Zone card. And Kerry Wood along with Jake Rogers. All right, next pack. Should have one more auto to go here. There's Arizona. Arizona has reached the lunchbox protection plan. Springer, hardly know her. Luis Arez, Clevenger. Trent Grisham. Noah Syndergaard. There's a Boba Shat, but unsigned. And there you go. There's a Royal for you. We got Georgie Brett. Georgie Porgy for you. All right, next pack up. There's another Kyle Lewis. Boy, there's been plenty of those in this break. Almost one every box, if not two, then an auto. El Colleen, El Tuve, Eugenio Suarez, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Pine Tar, exactly. Make a Brett auto and he'll be happy. Brendan Rogers for the Rockies. Nice black and white orange foil. Boy, they had lots of those. That's the third one of those we've had tonight. Plenty of those. Maybe we got these instead of the auto. Brick Harper and Busta Posey. Next pack. The 
Jesus. Nobody messes with the Jesus. Luis Castillo, Chris Bryant, Josh Stroma, Stoma, Ernie Banks, and Mookie Betts. The Bash and Burn. Mike the Moose Moustakis and Edgar Martinez. Looks like the Dodgers are going to come away with a win here. I thought for a second, San Diego was going to put up a... They had a, they had a fighting chance there for a while. So the Dodgers put the nail in the coffin right here. Travis Demerit. Nomar Garza Perara, Jason Veritek, John Means, Aaron Saival, and ding, 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 ring that bell, ruby red foil name, Randall Gurchick, and Severino. Two packs to go. Let's not do this again to a stops. Please do not short us an auto. Please give us all our autographs. Bobby Bradley, Andrew Benatendi, Ronald Acuna, the big poppy. Tommy Listella, who bags well? Jeff does. In the power zone. Houston. <laughs> they are Slam Diego. You're right. It's not over yet. Dodgers... That is looking good, but Slam Diego, anybody, any of those people up to bat are capable of taking it over the wall. Here we go. Last pack mojo. Let's get the auto here. Come on. Robel Garcia, Nick Marcakis, Zach Gallen, Escobar. And Gio Urshello for the Yankees. Very nice auto there. Giovanni Urshela. Very unique auto. Sitting down on the job, getting the job done. J Unit, that one's for you. I don't know if you're still kicking around. Very nice, very nice. Now, who who was it? Was it OMG? Did you send this one of these to Junior? Junior got one of these, and I'm trying to remember who sent it. Glaber Torres, red foil. Marcana and Andrew Benatendi ends the break. I know my son got one of these, and I can't remember who sent it to him. Or did he get it? Did he get it in a break? Well, that's the break, fellas. Uh, thank you for joining along. We're one short. Oh, wait a minute. We still got the one box stopper here. We got the one box stopper. I keep always forget these. I should probably open them first so I don't forget. But anyways, here we go. Whoa, it's Vladito. Is it going to be a signed one? No, no. Still a nice Vladito for the Blue Jays. There you go, Brandon. <laughs> Josh Van Meter's mom would like to thank you for this break. Indeed, indeed. All right, there you go, Brandon. I'll be sending that along to you. Um, what I can do, I want to. I, I hate the fact that didn't have an auto. Let me see what I can do here. They get a huge redemption. Imagine a big old redemption like this. <laughs> That'd be funny.
Well, I'll do this, okay? This is what I'm going to do for the lunchroom. And it's only because I love you guys, man. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take... I'm going to do this on behalf of Tops. Because since we were short in auto... All right, we should have had eight autographs, okay? We only got seven because top shortest is an auto. Unless it's over here, I, I got the pile of cards we just broke. Unless it's in there and it got stuck somewhere, I don't see it. I don't think it's over there. I would have, I'm pretty good at, I've been, I, I broke, this is my second case of this stuff. I mean, I'm not the pro, but. I would have saw. I don't think. I think top shorted us. But here's your lunchbox guarantee. I'm gonna give this to this break, even though, even though it's not my fault. I'm going to give you guys one more auto, on the house. This is your lunchman guarantee. So, the break's not over. We're gonna hold on to all the names, and I'm gonna give this out, this card out to whoever it goes to. So good luck. Here's your second chance. Here's your last chance at an autograph. There's your lunch man guarantee. All right. Let's see what we can get here. Good luck to everybody. This is going to be our last auto. Oh, man. What a great card. Wow. We were talking about him the other day. I had this card as a kid. I remember this. 19, that's 1990 tops. Well, it's not the Mike Trout. But that is a that is a one of the legendary pitchers of all time. He threw a no no with one hand. I can't even. I can't even freaking. Uh, I have a hard time throwing with both hands. Jim Abbott, well known. Jim made his major league debut in Starling Assignment versus Mariners April 8th. He arrived in 1989 spring training camp with double A contract, but impressed Angels coach staff early in workouts. Jim had a superb performance versus A's first Cactus League game. Throws left, bats left. So congrats on that. Oh, it's not even a, it's his major league debut card, his debut card. Ah, 25 out of 99. Yeah, there was uh they were talking about him on the uh the Yankees broadcast. They were talking about Jim Abbott. They said they said after a while watching him play, you didn't even realize he was missing a hand cuz his big claim to fame, if you don't know about Jim Abbott, you see how he's holding his glove like that? He didn't have a second hand. He only threw with, he was a one-handed pitcher. He only had one hand. I don't know exactly how he lost it or if he was born that way or however. But the guy was a massively awesome pitcher. He was so good. And uh he used to he used to as soon as he pitched it, he put his glove back on the other hand. As soon as he pitched the ball and he was ready, he could play defense like any other pitcher could, if not better. The man had a sense of awareness that was crazy. And uh the the announcers are saying after a while you didn't even realize that he was you, go, you just think he was just an ace pitcher. Let's do a little recap. So I got a lot of respect for that. So we got this case hit. I wonder if that might have soaked up the auto. I don't think so. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I'm trying to watch the game here. See San Diego clutching their, uh, clutching their fist, wishing they'll get a hit. Reese Hoskins, Chrome. These are all the top loaded ones. Should get these out to you. I'm gonna try to get them out before the weekend. We'll see how the weekend goes. 
If not, if the latest these will ship is Monday. I may hold on to these until Monday and then give them a, then ship them out to you. So um, I ship everything two days. So you should, Wednesday, these sh they should get to you at least a week. Should have these all to you in a week. Unless you're Victor, the other side of the pond, and then he's he's got to play the waiting game. There's a numbered Juan Soto. All right, there's those. And let's go through the ink. We got the Jalen Davis rookie card, San Francisco. Got the Jake. Oh, get up here, Jake. Jake. Was that a top loaded auto? Oh, did I just wait a minute? Was that the wait a minute? One, two. Did I top load your Yamamoto and not put him on the stand? I did, didn't I? That's where the auto was. We didn't get shorted. <laughs> oh, I'm brain dead. I am brain dead. Yeah, I remember I pulled the Yamamoto. That's what it was. I put it into the pile instead of up on a stand. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got all the autos. Well, you guys got an extra Jim Abbott because... I'm a dingbat. Due to my low amount of brain cells, I gave you an extra. You got a, you got the bonus eBay break. Anything for my customers? Yes, it was. It was a uh, top-loaded auto. It was Yamamoto. I forgot to put on the stand. Oh, man, what a dingbat. You got the Gio Urshela. How about the two Van Meters? We got one numbered to 25. And then a regular base. Congrats to the Reds on that. Then we got the sweet Kyle Lewis auto. Loving that. Lots of Kyle Lewis in the lunchroom. We got the Matt Olson redemption. And that right there, if you if you take those one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Yamamoto. I put that in the pile. Eight. The yeah, we got we tops. All right. Stop stop throwing darts at the top sign. Tops did everything they were supposed to. Lunchman came up short. It's the operator. It's not the system. And then the nice Jim Abbott. I'm a big fan of that card. I like that a lot. I remember having that as a kid. Oh crap. Sorry, 227170. I take back the mean things I said. <laughs> oh, uh, you can blame me. I am the professional scapegoat. If anything is wrong in your life and you're not happy with it, blame lunch. Blame the lunch man. If anything goes wrong in the future and you're not happy about it, just blame the lunch man. That's going to be it for that eBay break. Uh, let's take a look. Let's bring it over to the uh, the website. See how we're doing on the. On the triple threads. We have a triple threads. We want to run here. People want to run next. See if we can get it going. Let's bring you on over to the website. 14 left until we fill. It's twenty dollars. If it's gonna break tonight, I mean, I'll sit here. Yeah, I hear you, Anthony, and I I understand that. I'll sit here as long as I, uh, I can't sit here all, all night. 
I think we can do it. I, I'll try to put out a. Uh, I'll put out a tweet. Twenty bucks for two boxes is pretty good. I mean, there's this is pretty much at cost. I'm not not making a lot of money on that. Random teams. Um, let me put out a tweet. See what we can do. There we go. Old's tweeting away. Diego just slammed another one. Ooh, that looked a little low. Danny Jansen on the mound. I'm going to box this up here. Box this breakup real quick. And we'll try to get this trample threads. Anthony Varga, I can't guarantee. It. I mean... You can hold on if you want. I don't know how long you want to wait, but um, I I don't know if it's going to break. That's really not on me. I can't. If, if I can get people in here to get it, we'll definitely do it. <clears throat> I'm actually pretty excited that I didn't get shorted an auto out of tops. I'm pretty excited that I'm a dumbass. There's nothing worse than that. I mean, I give you guys, you know, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to give you guys everything I can. I want to pull fire for everybody. And then when the product doesn't show up like that, sometimes that, I mean, that it does happen. I've had it happen with Panini and Tops. <clears throat> I've had it happen where I haven't found it at least. <laughs> I did find the auto. It wasn't lost. It was me just not being able to keep track of my business. It was in my pile of top loaders. I had top loaded the auto and I threw it into like the regular pile of top loaders. And I am a dingbat. So you guys got a, a nice tops archives on the house. You're welcome. Anything for my lunch crew, though. I always take, I, I try my best to take care of you guys. It's not fair that we get short in auto. And actually, I'm pretty excited about the outcome. Kelly Mike, one of the biggest Angels fans ever, gets a uh, Jim Abbott. I mean, it's not the Mike Trout you probably want, but Jim Abbott's still a great angel. Pretty excited that it's going to Mike. Appreciate all the support you guys did. I appreciate you guys filling that out. I do have more eBay breaks. I got a Bowman Chrome going. I got two Bowman Chromes, actually. I think that's what I got. I got and I'm going to be doing uh, Panini Chronicles, too. I'm going to probably set that up sometime next week. I got, I'm going to do four boxes of Panini Chronicles. Yeah, you hit that Tejada out of five. That was a real nice card, Josh. That was out of uh, the beef up, the, the Bowman, the Bowman uh, hobby box, the beefy break. You got that nice Tejada. 
That was a sweet card. Well, I'll get the triple threads. I'll put them here. We're going to try to run this triple threads. Just got it in today. Just two boxes of it. It's up on the website. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's do a little triple threads. Try to uh, try to get some more uh, action here. Try to get it out, get some communication going. I'll get the checklist up on the screen here in a second. Probably going to be the last stadium club break on eBay for a while. Unless something happens to that. I still have four boxes of it. But I might do it as a pick your team on the website. I don't think I'm going to go to eBay with that anymore. Still might be a big hit out of the last four. I haven't found a big, big... There's got to be... I haven't seen one Lewis Bob auto in a while. Lewis Robert. Kenley is killing me. All right, let's get this up on the screen for you all. go let's see what let's see what tatis has boy could it get any more storybook than this joe kelly on the mound can tatis oh tatis went for it oh this is a big 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 play if you're not watching this you got to get this on tatis against joe kelly the biggest face maker ever He's going to give, Kelly's going to give Tatis a na nasty look and get fined. Uh, 
Oh, it's high. Man, this... Oh, man. This is amazing. This is, a, this is baseball. This is, this is baseball done right. All right, Kelly looks up. The 1-1 one, one to Tatis. In the dirt almost. Bring it to 2-1. and one. San Diego over L.A. Uh, L.A. over San Diego, 6-5. to five. Top of the ninth, two outs. Runner on first. Tatis up the bat. And Joe Kelly aiming for the dirt. Oh, Tatis gets one looking, looked a little low to me, but so says the ump. In the dirt. The count is full. Three and two. They walk Tatis. Joe Kelly walks Tatis. Well, then. Another ball in the dirt. Chad, the dirt rats in this. Thanks, Chad. Appreciate you grabbing a spot. Got you, got you on the list. Chad, you got two spots, didn't you? Thank you. Thought I was seeing double there. Thanks, Chad. Appreciate that. Deaf Mud Thief. Coming in with two. Easy Polizzi just got yours. Yours just came over. 
All right, so 13 to go on this. 17 down, 13 to go. Thanks, everybody, for hopping in. We are over halfway. Oh, wait a minute. My chat just bugged out. Many time. All right. All right. There you go. My chat stopped on you guys. I just had to refresh it. Now I see you guys. We're close. There you go, Josh. Yes, we are close. Oh, my chat's working now. All right. Many time. OMG's got his fingers up. Dirt Red says fire. Let's do it. Let's keep the momentum going. We can do this, guys. This will be Slam the Lunch Man. What are we going to do, Machado? Two and two. He swings, gets a foul. 97 miles per hour. Kelly throwing some heat. 13 to go. We could f fill the two boxer, and I'm going to do something to make sure you guys get cards in this. Exactly what, I'm not sure, but I'm going to figure out something. I want to make sure. Uh, I know this is a tough product. There isn't many cards in this stuff. There's a good chance that no cards will go to your team that you get picked. There isn't very many, but... There are some great, great hits in here for 20 bucks. It all depends on where Lady Cardboard is when you're uh when it gets open. Did Lady Cardboard bless us? So three two. Manny Machado up to bat. Two outs. Intensity ensues in San Diego. Go, go, go. Come on, Kelly. They walk them. What is going on here? Hey, Dandy Andy, the AP from PA. Good to see you. We are we're we're trying to fill a little bit of a uh, triple threads, two boxes, random teams, and then we're watching the San Diego and LA game, which is a nail biter. Good to see you, man. I don't know if you got the baseball game on, but it's a good one. This is what baseball is all about, right here. I'm having a hard time keeping my eyes off it. Like, right? Everybody wants Slam Diego to win, right? Or does someone else want the Dodgers? You picked up the... Andy, you picked up the... <laughs> you like your punishment, don't you? I, I will say this time, it's not... You actually have four boxes instead of three. And it probably was a little bit cheaper because the price went down on Bowman Chrome quite a bit. Joe Kelly's bouncing his balls off the plate. This is your turn. This is your run. We're gonna get you we're gonna get you fire this time, Andy. Yeah, it, 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 it's come down. A case of the stuff has come down dramatically. It's almost down 700 bucks or more. 
I got soaked on the first case. That's for sure. I felt I felt guilty about trying to sell it because it kept dropping as I was doing. That's why I'm being cautious about this triple threads. Um, I don't want to get too far out on this triple threads because um, everything that's been seems to be coming out, they they charge an arm and a leg, and then after it comes out, after a week it's out, it drops like a rock. The prices do. I don't want to get a case of triple threads because of that. Oh, Hosmer swings at it in the dirt. Yeah, if you guys didn't see, I have a PYT. I, I know uh, no, you saw it, Rob. I mean, Andy, you saw it, Andy. Got a PYT uh, Bowman Chrome again. I did a three box PYT. Now I got a four box up there. And you'll notice the four box is about the same price, if not cheaper than the three box was a couple weeks ago. So it's, I got a good value, good value PYT break up there. Obviously, the big teams, Rangers, White Sox, Padres, Yankees, they cost a couple dollars. But some of the smaller teams, you can get some good hits. And I don't have them chart. There's not, they're not too much. Not good. 28 total cards and 30 spots for triple threads. I know. I know. And that's the one thing I don't like about triple threads. You kind of have to break. The best way to do it is buy a case. But it gets so costly. It gets so costly. I like throwing it in a mixer here and there. But my mixers haven't been doing too well. So one and two, two outs, six five. LA is up on San Diego. Let's see any orders come over. I'm kind of watching TV. I'm not paying attention if orders come over. That's it. Oh, that was anticlimactic. We could pull the white whale. <clears throat> yes, indeed. We could pull a book. This, <clears throat> this is last year's triple threads. Uh, I've, I've shown you guys this before. My, I got to get a new thing around the top of it. But, uh, it's Aaron Judge 101 relic. I got this out of a Yankees break. <clears throat> triple threads. It was actually quite a while after triple threads had come out. Yeah, what a game, huh? How about that? So Dodgers lead the series 2-0. And there's that. That is so fire. Did you like that dirt rap? Yeah. That's one of my one of my favorite cards. It's it's for my son though. I don't want to take total credit. It's for my son. All right, Dwarl. Have a good night, man. Thanks for joining in. Congrats on your hits. I'll, I'll do my best to get those to you. I'm going to get those uh, out in the mail as soon as possible. If not by this weekend, I'll, they'll go out first thing Monday morning. Appreciate it. Have a good night. All right, we got... We're going to rock this triple threads. 13 left to go. 13... 
All right, cool. Cool. I appreciate the understanding. Thanks again, man. I'm glad 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 to see you back in the lunchroom. Very lucky little dude, yeah. <laughs> well, the whole reason I sell these cards is because of my kid. He's the one that kind of made it happen. How's they? Well, that's the end of that. We'll shut that down. All right, 13 to go, 13 to go. See if we can get this uh, fire away. I had some good momentum there. Oh, how how's that? Oh, for your son? How'd that end up? Well, I'll tell you how I, I how it happened in this rabbit hole. So this is where, where I am today is because my son started collecting baseball cards about, well, maybe about two and a half years ago. And um, at that time, you used to be able to find retail baseball cards, right? So I would buy them. I think it was 2018 Series 2. It was the picture of Bryce Harper. I'd buy those packs at Walmart for uh, Junior. I was buying them all the time. I was buying the, the, I was buying the, you know, the blasters, this and this, trying to figure out the Allen and Ginter, the Chipsy Queen. I remember you, you you walk up to the card aisle in Walmart and it would just be so many different options of baseball cards. I'm like, what the heck is all this stuff? So I, I was picking them up stuff here and there, trying to just figure out the whole market again because I had collected as a kid. I was just trying to figure out which was regular tops, which is obviously Series 1, Series 2. But at the time, if you looking into it, Looking into it from the outside and you haven't been into the hobby card market in a while, it's all very confusing. There's just so many product. You're like, well, which one are you supposed to get? I mean, when I was a kid, it was always tops, just regular tops. There's no series one, series two. Anyways, so I kept buying them for my kid and he was collecting them and I, I was helping him try to get a set together. And uh, so I went and I bought a couple hobby boxes online. And I remember he hit a, a Otani auto in one of the boxes. And this was right at the peak of Otani craziness. It was right, you know, it was the beginning of 2019, the end of 2018. And Otani was like the biggest thing going, him and Acuna. And that Otani card, I remember looking it up online. It was worth like, we would gotten out of a hobby box. It was worth like, it was worth a couple dollars. I'm like, wow, well, these cards are for real. I didn't think there was a bigger market. Then I started looking into different things. I figured out breaks on the uh, internet, and I got hooked on them myself. I started buying into breaks for my son. I'd let him open all the breaks when they came home. Then I would take them and sort them. And then, uh, you know, we we I'd buy into a break, and then me and him would sit there and watch the break together. Then my wife would watch with us, rooting for my teams. And then I'm like, oh, I'll give it a shot, and that's kind of what I tried doing. I blame my son. It's all my son's fault. Wouldn't have done it if I didn't have kids. 
He still collects them now. He's he's collecting this year's big league, trying to get the big league uh, complete set. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you, Josh, you got to meet you got to meet Junior. He definitely knows his baseball. He likes he likes his baseball. Also likes toys. Yeah, very cool. It's a wholesome, you know, hobby cards are really a wholesome feeling. It's something that's been going on for many years in this uh, country. You know, baseball has always been a tradition. I played baseball as a kid, too. Watching my son learning baseball, it's a lot of fun. Very wholesome. Out into my own breaking shop. Well, I had aspirations of doing it like a year ago. Actually, I'm coming up on my first uh, first year, my first anniversary. First break I did was just about a year ago. Um, I bought a case of optic. Uh, one of the, one of the people I was talking with in the hobby showed me where to buy a case and I bought it. I went out ahead and I bought a case just on a whim. And, uh, we had bought actually with the first break I did, we used to, we bought an expensive, expensive camera. When our first our kids were first born, we went to Best Buy and we we're like, we need an XLR fast moving, whatever high end camera. We want to take lots of pictures of our kids because they're growing up and we want the memories. So we spent like a good bit, like twelve hundred dollars on a camera, a DSLR camera, and we're not we're not in any way freaking camera people. We're not photographers. We're not artists. We spent way too much money on it, and I'm like, Ugh. you know, I got that camera down there. I had aspirations for a while making kids kids videos with my son on YouTube, but then after a while of watching them, I was just like, I don't want to contribute to that because that stuff's crap. So I was going to use that camera for that, but then I go, well, I could use it to break cards. So I tried using that camera to break cards and it didn't work because the battery died on it. <laughs> the first break I did, I made it halfway through the break and the battery died. I had to shut the whole the site down, wait for my battery to charge and bring it up. Yeah, yeah, there was no way to charge that thing, so I had to. I I bought the, what I have now. I got just a uh, a streaming one, a USB camera, Logitech. <laughs> I had a case of optic. I broke the whole thing, and I think I bought another case of it. I can't remember. Just sort of did it. It was a lot cheaper then. I couldn't believe it. You could buy a case of uh, Dunruss optic for seven hundred bucks. We're still alive yeah we're still good no issues that's how i got into it man so yeah any any idiot can do this the cards kind of usually sell themselves generally although i've had some bad luck lately i haven't had a whole lot of huge fire yeah it's so great to uh hang with your yeah, dirt rat if you got a son i don't know how old your son is or, or any kids. It's fun sharing sports with them. It's fun sharing everything with them. My son right now is just so hooked on sports. Before he gets on before he gets on the bus or when he's homeschooling, remote schooling like today. Uh once we got done with his work, he want all he wants to do is go outside and uh throw the ball. Hit the ball. He's been having issues with hitting the ball and hitting the neighbors' houses, so we've been playing catch more often. The kid's hitting the ball way too hard, and he's starting to hit all the neighbors' houses. He's not allowed to use a hard ball anymore. He's uh, He's got to use a tennis ball. But now the tennis balls are bouncing off the neighbors' windows. That still isn't good. <laughs> yep. Great sharing with your kids. All right, we got 13 spots to go in this triple threads. Two box break, two box random team break. $20 could get you a really sweet card here. 
Thanks to everybody that's bought into it in the chat. And thanks for hanging out in the chat. I appreciate that. Yeah, your son went through that as well. My name is Junior, and I hit dingers. <laughs> I call him the dinger bringer. I go, he's the dinger bringer. He's too cool now. Oh, really? 11U select ball? Oh, that's awesome, man. Congrats. I'm glad he's sticking with it. That's one thing I hope my son does because he's just so obsessed with it right now. And he he obsesses over it so much that he just wants to pra he just wants to play and play and play. And actually after a while he sucked at it for first, but now he he's only seven years old. He's getting really good at catching now and he's getting really good at hitting. He's he's swinging the ball. He started swinging mad. He used to just try to get contact. Now he's trying to swing like he's mad. And the freaking ball, the, he hits the tennis ball. And the thing, you, you hear it go. It'll fly over the neighbor's tree. At least the tennis balls don't break windows. Not normally, anyways. Oh, that's excellent, man. That's excellent. Congrats on your son. You got to be a proud father. That's, uh, that's, that's amazing. I played, I played Little League as a kid, and then once I got a certain age, I just quit playing. It's good, it's good to have kids uh, play as long as possible. He's a switch hitter and throws 65 and plays first as well. Ah. Oh. My son throws left. He's a lefty. I bought. I went out and I bought him a left-handed glove, too, because I knew he was throwing better with his left hand. So I got him actually a right-handed glove, I guess. No, but it's a lefty glove. He throws, he throws left a lot better than with his right. And now it took him a while because his, uh, his grandparents had bought him a right-handed glove. He was wearing the little, when he was a little toddler, he was wearing that all the time. Now that he's getting older, though, he realizes he can catch better with his right hand and throw with his left. My son made the high school team this year, and of course, as soon as the roster came out, they canceled baseball because of COVID. Ah, oh! they just opened sports back up this week around here. Yeah, they're talking. They're going to try to do. I, I was talking to one of his coaches the other day. They're going to try to do some kind of fall ball here. Well, at least it's coming back out, man. It stunk. I really wanted the kid to I really wanted to play Little League this year. At seven years old, they're so the kids are just so right now he listens. He actually he'll listen to people give advice, which is pretty good. Sometimes he doesn't listen, but right now at his age, he's a sponge. only lasted a couple years to throw left well if you're a lefty in the major leagues right you can you can work forever yeah left-handed pitchers they they don't they don't die and go graze in a field. They go to the bullpen. <laughs> they don't go away. Yeah, yeah. Soaking up info. He was debating on going the local or doing the local traveling team to pass the time, but that shit, yeah, that is expensive. The travel team is always expensive. It's never cheap. At least it's baseball, you know. 
At least he's not trying to do hockey. <laughs> Talk about a cheap, cheap sport for your kids. How about hockey? I, I work with someone and their kid is a hockey player and he's just like, dude, he goes, I don't even want to talk about how much I pay in equipment every year. Two grand? Holy moly. They better have really nice bats. Better have very nice uniforms for two grand. <laughs> you play travel hockey, and that parents never let you live it down. <laughs> woof, woof. Man, that's steep to play play sports, any sports. Well, they we got the interview of uh, Kershaw up on MLB Network. Well, I'm going to give this uh, probably another half hour. We'll see if we can get some traction. Maybe we get some uh, people in here. I got to go use the little boy's room, but uh, I'm going to give it to about a little after one, maybe about quarter after one. We kind of hit a dead still, dead stop here. Hopefully we can get some traction here. I did put out the tweeters. Might be some folks hopping in here soon. You know, the West Coast is digging in. All right, I'll be right back.
righty, all right. We're back. We're back. I had a friend when I was younger who played hockey, and they were paying like 3 k a year. Oh, God. Bro. Wow. However, he was a goalie, I think. Oh, yeah. Goalie, goalie gears are definitely a lot more... Definitely got it. it. has to be more expensive than everybody else. They have the fanciest freaking armor. It's my son's second sport, D-E-K hockey. Watching cheap fun breaks, open a case of triple threads, and there are at least three one-on-one and triple autos per case. Really? Yeah, those guys, I got a feeling some of those big boys, they definitely get, they definitely get a, uh, a happy case, so to speak. I don't know if it's a loaded case or a happy case, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're almost almost to this. We're over halfway to get this one. Not a full case. It, it, that stuff is better broken in the case, but man, it could be steep. You could it could pay you could pay big money for a team and not get a not get a decent hit. The way I won this judge on this triple threads, they always pull something big. That's why it's almost, it's not a bad idea to break with the big boys because they, they're they almost guaranteed to get something big. And it's not the fact that they even give them happy boxes. I think it happens more along the line. They just break a lot. The volume is up. So if you think about it, they're going to have the rarer hits the more you open. So the way I got this is kind of like what I was trying to mess around with. Um, what they had was a uh, PYT, kind of like what I'm running now. And uh, for the remaining spots, they serial numbered it out. They serial numbered the remaining teams. They basically took the price of that. And they said everybody got a, a, a number between 1 and 25. And I... Uh, I bought into it. It was like, it could have been like a hundred bucks, but then you get a chance at every unsold team by a, a serial number. And, uh, you get randomized your serial number. And I got randomized the one in that break. And, uh, that happened to come up as one one and the Yankees weren't sold. So that, that came to me by a, a, like a side serial number break. They're kind of fun. It's a different way to look at these. Yeah, it all came down to luck. If I would have rolled the two on the randomizer, never would have came my way. Just happened that card was in there, and I happened to finally pull grab a one-on-one -on -one spot. It paid off. Lots of Lots of stars lined up that day. So it's going to be Dodgers and the Braves, huh? No. Dodgers and the Braves for the championship series? Is that what we're thinking? Unless the Padres turn it around? <laughs> I know, Andy. I feel bad for you. I'm waiting. You're going to have the big turn in the lunchroom. You're going to have that big turn. It's going to be, it's going to be grand, and it's going to be fabulous. You'll be able to look at the lunchroom and give everybody the proper middle finger and say, there, there you go. Take that. <laughs> uh, you, you done beat, the, you done got the good side of lady cardboard. Oh, man. Baron Laura Super Fractor Auto. Couldn't imagine. I last super fractor I pulled was from Bowman's Best. And it was one of those die cut cards. I haven't pulled a super fractor in a while. 
I'm due for one. And it's going to be on your Rangers now. I've been saving it just for your hit. Um, You know who I think it was? I got a picture of it somewhere. I'd have to dig through my camera. I think it was an Alec Bohm die cut, actually, for the Phillies. Either that or, it was a, or the Cardinals. It was either a Cardinals or Phillies hit. And I'm thinking it was Alec Bohm from Bowman's Best die cut. And one of those uh, future foundation cards, I remember. I wonder if I got a picture of it somewhere I could find. Hmm, I don't see it. Yeah, Josh, I thought it was, too. I really did think it was going to go. We got a lot of traction at first, and then it just sort of fell off. Yeah, Andy, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I don't think it's going to happen. And I got to admit, I'm kind of running low on fuel. I'm kind of burning out myself. Well, it was a good notion. I thought we were really close. I can hop on. What I'll do is I'll everybody who bought in, I'll email everybody. I'm going to try to hop on either tomorrow or Friday during the day. See if we can't get this going. We also, we had the same problem uh, yesterday with, or today, earlier today with the football. Got all this momentum going and then it just stopped. All right. I want you to get a job anymore. I'm trying to find that super fractor. Here's one. Here's a super. Here's the one. The first super fractors I ever pulled in the channel, out of optic. I don't know if you guys were around when I did this. That was a big card. How about stealing the 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 show today, Cody Bellinger? This is out of optic 101 auto. Pulled that out of a 2019 optic. Along with this, this was Bowman Chrome last year. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. pulled that. Pulled a lot of Vladdies last year.
Real, I know, Clark. Thanks, thanks, man. <laughs> I'll have to check. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go tonight, unfortunately. We can try again tomorrow. I'll try it at the lunchtime for a little bit. 12 o'clock. We still at 12? <laughs> I don't want to misplace any autos again. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I did that. What, what a what a dunce. There it goes. That's my brain cells. I know. I'm not used to I'm, I've been sleeping at night, so my brain uh, wants to sleep. I'll hang out here for a minute or two. See if anybody hops in. All right, Kelly, Mike. Thanks, man. Be well. Appreciate you joining in tonight. By the way, my bumper music sounds like 70s porn. Oh, I should play some. All right, there's a little there's a little bumper music for you. It's supposed to be it's not 70s porn unless you think it's 70s porn. Sandy, thanks for stopping in. Yep, that is that is from Taboo. See if you can name this one. See if you can name this one. Try and guess what porn that one's from.
That's uh. All the people from Texas probably like this one. This is a, this is a Texas theme song. Nope. Debbie did Dallas. That's the uh, that's the Dallas one there. Debbie did Dallas right there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's Debbie Does Dallas. Here's the next one. So cool. Yeah, the first one was taboo. I thought you knew them all. You were just guessing. I thought you actually knew it by the sound of it. I'm like, man, I didn't know that a lot of people were into it that much. I thought, <laughs> I assumed you knew. <laughs> oh, they're on the internet. Some sound soundboard place. You know, soundboard.com. Oh, yeah, that was Spider Pussy. This is Behind the Looking Wall. Hey, it's Def Mud. What's going on, Darren? Yes, at 101, Cecil Fielder was pulled at the House de la Beard. The Beard Bros got a 101 Cecil Fielder. Yep. Taboo is a classic. That this one is taboo right here. <laughs> You'd be so disappointed. It reminds me, I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this. I won this in a break. I'm sure if I've shown this on camera or not. Actually, almost in the same one I got out of the mic, uh, the uh, Aaron Judge. Check out this one from 2019. Yeah, get him into this. This is the last breath. Yeah, this is a 101. See for garbanzo bean. 101. Miggy Cabrera. Actually, it came from the same break that I had the Aaron Judge break. Because I had the one spot. I actually got both of the Aaron Judge and this for like 100 bucks. It's when Lady Cardboard shines on your way. That's a sweet card. I know you guys are Detroit fans. But I, I think Miggy Cabrera is amazing. I like that card. That patch is filthy down there. I'm try I keep on trying to figure out what it is. Looks like it's a circle. Yeah, I like I like Mickey Cabrera. Yeah, he's kind of a bum now, but man, he was amazing. Well, all right, Dirt Rat, appreciate all the support, man. You have a good night. We'll be seeing you the next time around. Uh, yeah, I'd say he's Hall of Fame. I mean. What are the given Hall of Famers for sure that are playing right now? I got to say Cabrera would be one. I'd say Pujo, Albert Pujo. Um, I don't know, a couple pitchers. I mean, they're like the given, obviously, Trout. 
I would say, I'd say Miggy has definitely got a spot there. Kershaw, yep, Kershaw. Verlander, yep, Verlander will be in the Hall of Fame. Glaber Torres, I don't think so. Nelson Cruz. I know, my son loves Nelson Cruz. I know you guys are big fans of the Twins. He's like, Nelson Cruz cracks it out of the park. Yeah, the way he's hitting it. He he isn't slowed down with his hitting at all. He's hitting he's hitting better than most of the Yankees right now. And he's not even playing. That was a stab at my Yankees. I don't think they, they've had one good game here against Tampa Bay. These last two games haven't looked too sharp. That's why I was rooting for the Twins to go in. But those stinking Astros look really good. I don't know. Be a fun postseason. Marlon's not looking too hot. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Tampa Bay looks amazing. They're pitching and they're hitting. Everybody can crack it out. I like that Miami throws at Acuna's butt, though. So Acuna's buttocks is taking a beating from uh, Miami. But Gary Brown's prediction, which I liked, was uh, going to be an all-Florida battle royal. Tampa Bay versus the Marlins. Yeah, how about Oakland? Oakland's still in it. I don't know if it was a fluke today. All right, well, I'm going to let this go. I gave it gave it a while here. We had a lot of momentum at first. I'm going to try to fire this up tomorrow. I'll email everybody here. Def Mud, Darren, Josh, Dirt Rat, if you're still here. Thanks for swinging by. I'm going to call it. Appreciate all the support. I'm going to head out. Lunchbox out. They went okay. They went okay. They went pretty good. We got a uh, Matt Olson. Got a Matt Olson uh, redemption was one of the better, and a Kyle Lewis. So not too bad. We were expecting some Mike Trout and Lou Bob autos, but that didn't happen. But uh, I'm going to take it off. I'm going to call it. I'm half asleep here, so. Be well and smell well. We'll be seeing you around the lunchroom. Thank you so much for the support. We'll be seeing you.